Recently, I was called on to be the best of men. <laughs> uh, no, I had the privilege of standing with Ryan at the altar when he got married. It wasn't my first time, hell, it wasn't even my first Ryan. But it's always an honor. There aren't a lot of duties. You stand where you're told to, you plan a bachelor party, but can be a little nerve wracking on the day of, especially if you've never done it before. But largely, your job is to take care of the groom and to take care of the, the couple in general on their wedding day and to work with you know, the rest of the wedding party to do that. And here are some things that I have learned in the course of doing this. First, get your groom places on time, right? They are gonna be distracted. They're gonna be thinking about lots of other stuff. Take the burden of getting them places on time. Even if you don't drive, ask questions, plan routes, make sure you leave a little early, right? You're always gonna be running probably like half an hour behind for the whole day. And the worst case scenario is that you show up a little early. Don't necessarily be confrontational about it, but let people know that it is important to you that they arrive on time, right? That it's one less thing that everyone else has to worry about. And everyone will thank you. Also, if you are late, everyone will remind you about it forever. Speaking of getting places, one of your other jobs is probably to hold on to the rings, right? If it's that kind of ceremony, if you've got rings, usually the best man who has to hold on to them is the best man who needs them during the ceremony. And the second you are given those rings, they're your passport. It's like international travel, you know, you're you're in the car and you don't leave the driveway until you've physically seen everyone's passports. Same thing. Nobody goes anywhere. Not one of you until you've physically inspected the rings and know that you have them. It'll put everybody's mind at ease. It's again, one less thing to worry about. They look and they know you got it. Finally, most important thing, bachelor parties are nothing compared to this. Help the couple be present. Right? Do what you gotta do. Serve drinks, set tables, move flowers, pull in and push out chairs, carry trains, whatever you gotta do. Tell them they look incredible. I think I spent most of that day like brushing dust. We were outside, we did the ceremony outside. I was brushing dust off of Huck's shoulders the whole time, even when it wasn't there because it made him go, oh. And that was what we needed. And that was what we wanted, right? Like just everything you can do to take a little bit of worry off of them, you lift that little burden, it means that they are gonna remember everything about that day. And they're probably not gonna remember everything that you do and it doesn't matter because you are there for them. You're there at their service. Look for opportunities to lift their burden and check in with them to see what they need. It can be an incredible thing to stand in a wedding, to watch two people tie their lives together and pledge that in front of all the people they care about. It's an honor to be asked to serve in such a thing and it's worth taking the day to focus on that and to make it as great as possible because you are gonna carry that with you for a while but they are gonna carry that moment with them forever. On that day, you're not just a good man, you're the best man. Stay awesome.